LeBron, to separate the game for a second, you talk a, a lot about the kid from Akron and going up the list. It's been, it was Kobe, or it's MJ and then Kobe, and now Carl Malone uh, leaving just Kareem. How do you put all of that into context and how much, if any, of that was on your mind as you entered this game in that first half? Um, you know, just to be um, a part of this league for as many years as I've been a part of it and uh, to be linked with some of the greatest that ever played this game, guys that I've either watched or studied or, or read about uh, or inspired to be like, um, it is, uh, honestly, I always just lost for words for it. And, um, you know, it's a... It's an honor for myself um, and for my hometown and for my family and my friends to be able uh, to, to live these moments um, throughout this journey. And, um, you know, that's why, exactly what I do it for. I do it for, you know, my family, my friends, my hometown, um, and anybody that's been a part of this journey throughout this, uh, this run so far. LeBron, uh, two questions for you. One, um, how was the knee feeling going into this game? Was there any consideration – Obviously, sort of the, the storybook nature of maybe it's the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Nobody would have faulted you if you'd taken a night off and, and, and tried to do this in Cleveland. Um, did that ever enter your mind? And then I guess secondly, as, as, you, as you do talk about kind of the milestones you've hit uh, along the way, n now that there's only one left in the scoring, like, will you allow yourself to, to think about that at, at all? Uh, well, when I got to the arena and uh, – I got done with my activation, got done with my treatment. Um, I felt good enough to go. So um, the question of not playing went, went out the door right then and there. Um, and I will not allow myself to, to think about it. Um, you know, I've always just, just played the game the way I've been playing it over the years, and these things have just happened um, or, or organically by just going out and playing the game the right way, trying to win every game, playing for your teammates and things of that nature. And, um, you know, I've been putting myself in a position where I can – where I've been successful for the majority of my career. So, um, you know, I, I hope to accomplish that at some point in my career. Um, but I won't, uh, I won't think about it too much and, you know, pretty much until we, you know, get there, hopefully. LeBron, you've said um, many times that you'll appreciate the milestones and the records down the road when you have time to kind of look back and, and soak it all in. But considering the historic nature of this one, do you allow yourself to kind of, you know, Appreciate, appreciate it, or, or or celebrate it in some way, and then how do you kind of, or are you able to separate um, the significance of the of the milestone from the result tonight, and kind of what you guys are trying to still do as a team? Uh, no, I can't separate it. I can't separate the fact that um, we weren't able to get this win. Um, you know, you know, with me accomplishing that, because at the end of the day, um, you know, all I care about is wins and losses, and um, you know, obviously at some point I'll be able to look back and. Look back at this moment, um, but right now the feeling I have, I can't separate it. Um, we had a great opportunity to, uh, you know, pick up some more momentum, especially after last night's win. Played, you know, well enough to, you know, win this game through 36 minutes, and the uh, last quarter we let it go. LeBron, what's missing from some of these close efforts that you guys are coming close? I mean, Houston comes to mind. This game, and obviously, you guys got it done last night in Toronto. Why is that difficult to do on a more consistent basis, do you think, for this team? Because uh, we just haven't been consistent all year. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.